Welcome back to my channel and it's Michelle here, Nurse Michelle here. Today I'm going to share with you guys my not so typical nighttime routine. I am a registered nurse. Um, I do work the later shifts. So my typical shifts are from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. So I get off work pretty late. So my nighttime routine might look a little different from what an average person's nighttime routine is. So today I'm just going to share with you guys what I do when I get off work um, in the hospital. So let's get into this night routine. So before I leave work, I make sure like I wipe down my phone and my badge with these um, antimicrobial wipes because those are my most touched surfaces here while I'm at work. So I make sure I clean this with my cell phone really, really good. And then I perform hand hygiene because hand hygiene, of course, is so important. Usually when I'm leaving work, I am one of the few people walking around outside at this hour. It can look a little scary like right now, but as I'm vlogging right now, I'm realizing how much of a safety issue this is. So I definitely need to buy, um, purchase like a pepper spray or something to help protect myself. But I am walking to my car right now. I see some night shift people walking around too. And like at my job, we do have security, so I'm not, I don't feel too, too unsafe, but um, you know, woman out in the dark by herself, I definitely need to um, protect myself. Hello. some music sometimes or um, listen to audible a book on audible or a sermon and so today I am actually listening to a sermon from Transformation Church if you guys know that church and if you guys listen to that pastor Pastor Mike Todd give those a thumbs up because he is literally awesome um, so yeah I'm listening to one of his last sermons here titled if you say so so I have that Wow, I hate these commercials. But yes, I have this here and it's paused from where I last listened to. So I'm about to just connect that to my car and we're going to head home. like god god bless him god bless that man but now that i'm home the number one thing to do is to get out of these dirty clothes after working with bodily fluids i had so many patients with jp drains that i had to empty out and i just feel like i'm seeing sere sanguinous drainage everywhere so i need to get out of this um dirty clothes and then i'm going to hop in the shower take a nice well-deserved shower <music> Thank you. 
So now that I've gotten out of the shower, I've done my skincare routine, it's time for me to eat. I eat really late because I get home from work super late. And this is why I say that my nighttime routine is a little unusual from your typical because nobody makes dinner at 11, 12 a.m. Life of a nurse. So I've modified my lifestyle around to accommodate my schedule. Um, I thank God for my high metabolism and I also um, work out. If you guys have been following my vlogs, you know that like I'm super big on working out. So now that my meal is done, I'm about to dive in. But before I do that, I have to find a show to watch. Do you guys also do that? Let me know in the comments what your favorite show is to watch while you eat. Put me on your favorite show so I can also like try it out. But yeah, I feel like I can't really enjoy my meal unless like I sit down and find something to watch while I eat. I don't know, it's therapeutic. I think it's therapeutic. I'm about to watch one of my favorite YouTubers' video, Her Day in the Life. I don't know if you guys know Allison, like I absolutely love her. She's like so sweet, so soft-spoken. I wish like I was that mellow. But I'm about to watch her day in the life while I enjoy my tacos. <laughs> about to share with you guys my most favorite part about my entire nighttime routine before i do that i'm going to take my vitamins i am like so terrible at taking my vitamins so don't don't let this video fool you and say oh michelle takes her vitamins every day it just doesn't but today today we remembered and we're going to take it we're going to take one 500 milligram pill of some vitamin c and some zinc oh my gosh i need to get these and gummies because these pills are so chunky and big and it's like i don't know that's probably why i don't like taking because they're huge pills but i'm gonna take this as i was saying guys this is like my most favorite part about my entire routine it is the time i get to spend with god i get to spend with jesus this moment is so imperative to my mental health i don't know where my mental health would be if i didn't have this opportunity to communicate to god my savior and so i definitely find this part of my nighttime routine so precious and you know god is just so amazing sometimes i would come to him with just crazy anxiety and i'll just get so emotional and then i'll literally leave his presence feeling so much better feeling as if like a huge weight has been lifted off of me and sometimes i go to sleep and he just reveals things to me that i never thought would be possible like god is so amazing and he is so real and i'm just so thankful that he's allowed me to just experience him in this level so definitely like coming into god's presence is a pivotal part in my routine that I cannot compromise on. You know, he's given me the grace to consistently do this. And once you start doing it, it becomes like a habit and it's not forced anymore. Okay, so I'm about to read my Bible and I'm about to 
just meditate on the word and then just spend some time in prayer and just really just just talk to my father you know just talk to my father so i'm going to end the video here because i don't know like i said this moment is very sacred to me so i'm going to show it to you guys i'm sorry well, thank you guys so much for watching this video please give this video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoyed it please don't forget to comment as well and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye